I think it's time to begin this session. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Shilin Chu from Jilin University, China. It's my great pleasure to chair this session for Professor Gao Song, Song Gao, uh, the keynote speaker. Professor Song Gao uh, received his uh, bachelor degree in 1985 in Beijing University, and afterwards in 1991, he received PhD in the same university, Peking University. <coughs> After that, uh, Professor Sun Gao worked in the Peking University until now. He was the uh, uh, Hongbaud uh, Research Fellow in Aachen. 1995 to 97. Also, he served as uh, Dean of uh, uh, College of Chemistry and uh, Molecular Engineering in Peking University. Uh, that is the, <coughs> yes, and uh, uh, presently he, he is the Changjiang University of uh, uh, College of chemistry and uh, molecular engineering in Beijing Peking University, and also is the deputy director of uh, Beijing State uh, National Laboratory for Molecule Molecular Sciences. At the same time, he is the uh, vice president, provost of Peking University. He received uh, a lot of awards. Most important is he received the uh, National Natural Award of China. That is more difficult because only very few scientists can receive the, uh, this award. <coughs> in, two thousand, uh, in 2007, he was elected as a member of Chinese Academy of Sciences and also the fellow of uh, uh, the Royal Society of Chemistry, UK. Uh, after then, he, in, in 2013, he received the, uh, a member, the fellow of World Academy of Sciences. He is also the ninth committee of China uh, National Association of Science and technology. That is the, uh, that's since the 2016. And he is the president of Chinese Crystallographic Society since 1912. Because he's the well-known the scientist, he served as the the man, uh, member of some international uh, journals for the uh, the member of uh, editorial advisory board, like for example for the uh, Chemical Society Review, Chemical Science, and so on. And he is the editor in chief for Journal of Inorganic Chemistry Frontier. Uh, uh, Frontier and also the associate uh, editor for uh, national science uh, reviews. Uh, Professor Sun Gao and his co-readers published more than 460 papers and have uh, more than 23,000 uh, citations with H, H factor of 80. His research interest is uh, coordination chemistry, and also molecular nano uh, magnets and crystal engineering and molecular engineering, so called, and also for the functional, multifunctional uh, molecule uh, materials. Today he will talk about uh, magnetic and electric and isotropy in molecular crystals. Thank you. Uh, it's my great pleasure to be here. Uh, I would like to thank uh, the organizer for giving me this opportunity. Uh, 
Today I will talk about the magnetic and also electric anisotropy in some molecular crystals. Uh, before my talking, I would like to thank my co-workers at Peking University, uh, Professor Zhemin Wang, uh, Professor Bingwu Wang, and uh, Dr. Shang Da Jiang, and some of my, my uh, students, PhD students. And also I would like to thank uh, my, some of my, my, my uh, collaborators from different uh, area. Uh, some people, Professor Zhen Feng Xi, uh, Chen Yao Feng, and Deng Liang, they are uh, synthesis uh, some, they, they synthesis some uh, beautiful uh, organomaterial compounds. Uh, uh, Professor Sosley and uh, uh, made some uh, measurement for us, and uh, recently we also cooperated with uh, uh, Overguard uh, for uh, high resolution uh, electron density measurements. Uh, actually, I start my uh, career uh, 20 years ago uh, when I go back from Germany. Uh, I start my own research group. Uh, in the uh, first 10 years, I mainly focus on uh, cognition polymers to find some uh, cognition polymers with uh, long-range magnet ordering. Uh, using different uh, uh, spin carriers, lanthanide, transition metal, with different uh, uh, bridges, mainly focus on some uh, uh, short bridges to transmit uh, strong uh, coupling between spin carriers. Uh, in, uh, in recent 10 years, uh, we, we mainly focus on uh, two uh, research directions. Uh, firstly, based on some extended uh, uh, cognition polymers, long-range ordering systems, we try to explore the another properties such as ferry electric ordering in some molecular magnets. Uh, on the other hand, I would like to uh, we would like to to investigate some isolated. Uh, system, molecules, so, so clusters, a single chain, and also mononuclear systems, we call the single eye magnet. Today, I will focus on the, the two parts. First part, I will give some examples for ferroelectric uh, molecular magnets. And uh, secondly, I mainly focus on some uh, mononuclear systems with uh, special properties we call the single molecular magnetic behavior. Uh, it's well known uh, for long-range magnetic ordering. It's a, it's a bulk properties of materials. It's not the properties for it individual molecules. Uh, Normally, there is uh, there are uh, some different ordering type, uh, different type of ordering, ferro, uh, ferromagnetic and antiferromagnetic uh, ordering. Uh, they are all collinear ordering. Another type of ordering is uh, so-called a weak ferromagnetic ordering. It's uh, the ordering is the spin carriers. Uh, the neighbor uh, uh, antiferromagnetic coupling, but with with some canting, spin canting. So, uh, so, so this type of ordering we call the uh, uh, canted uh, antiferromagnetic ordering or ferro uh, or weak ferromagnetic ordering. Uh, I just mentioned uh, we investigate a lot of uh, coordination polymers with long-range magnet ordering. Uh, some of them uh, 
the bridge a uh, three atom bridge. It's a single three atom bridge. For this kind of systems, normally the, the coupling between the spin carriers, the neighbor spin carriers, will 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 be uh, counting. So uh, we such as a format, the metal format, we get a lot of metal formats with uh, uh, weak ferromagnetic ordering due to spin counting. In these format systems, recent years we are using different uh, ammonia ions as a template, get uh, several, uh, a lot of uh, uh, connection polymers. Uh, some of them not only show long range magnetic ordering, so also show uh, some uh, ferroelectric ordering. Here, I will show three examples for uh, a ferroelectric molecular uh, magnets. The first one is very uh, simple. The ammonia ions, uh, as a template, we got serious uh, format. Uh, from zinc, uh, iron, uh, cobalt, uh, manganese. Uh, for these series compounds, they have the same structure. Uh, in high temperature, the, the ammonia ions and the framework of the format uh, between them have uh, rich uh, hydrogen bonding. At high temperature, the hydrogen bonding is disordered. But uh, when we cool down the, the, the compounds to low temperature, due to the disorder to order of hydrogen bonding, we, we observe the phase transition for these series compounds. Uh, with this uh, uh, phase structure uh, transition, we observe the uh, anomaly in uh, dielectric constants uh, dependence uh, temperature. You can hear, see here the, the transition uh, from uh, pyroelectric state to a ferroelectric state at low temperature. From here, we, we can also see uh, the electric polarization for these serious compounds. It shows at low temperature phase, it's a very electric materials. So uh, for, uh, on the other hand, we can see the magnetic properties for the, the serious compounds. They all uh, spin counted uh, weak ferroelectric uh, ordering at low temperature. Uh, around uh, 10 Kelvin, and uh, for nickel, it's about uh, 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 30 Kelvin. So, uh, it means uh, for these series compounds, they not only the ordering magnetically at low temperature, uh, around the 200 Kelvin, they have another ordering, so very electric ordering. It means in this uh, uh, metal format framework, we observe the coexistence of uh, magnetic ordering and also electric ordering. But unfortunately, uh, we uh, did not uh, observe the coupling between the magnetic ordering and the electric ordering. Uh, in another group uh, of in, in Chinese Chemical Science Institute of Physics uh, a group, uh, they also investigate some uh, similar compounds. Uh, uh, they, these, these publish uh, results. Uh, they, they said they observe the weak uh, coupling between the uh, magnetic ordering and uh, uh, ferroelectric ordering. It's uh, the first examples. The second example I will show uh, is also a metal uh, format uh, framework. Uh, but this time, the, uh, the structure is a, a porous kite uh, type structure. Uh, uh, 
it's well known if for, for solid state chemistry, uh, solid state uh, physics, they normally tuning A sides and B sides to tuning the uh, properties uh, of the materials. Here, uh, we use uh, the similar concept and uh, tuning the uh, cations, ammonia ions. Uh, actually, if for, for, uh, for uh, the two uh, ammonia ions, they have a similar uh, size. And uh, uh, for, for, for A1, they have, uh, they can form the, the structure, and uh, for A2, uh, the similar structure, it can be formed, uh, 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 get obtained. But uh, uh, different cations, uh, actually, the, the framework distortion have different distortion for, for different uh, uh, ions. For uh, 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 mesoamine, I actually, uh, the distortion uh, is small. Uh, so when we uh, added the, the mesoamine uh, to uh, replace some A1 with, uh, with A, A2, we can uh, tune in the, the transition uh, temperature uh, from about uh, uh, 360 Kelvin to uh, 280 Kelvin. In, in quite a large temperature range, we can tune in the uh, transition uh, uh, temperature. Uh, this is due to the, when we added uh, cation A2, we can tune in the, the distortion of the framework and reduce the uh, distortion, so we can tune in the, the, the uh, very electric uh, uh, ordering temperature. Since uh, actually the, the uh, very electric properties are mainly due to the, the framework and also the uh, gas molecules. At the same time, for these compounds, uh, it also uh, 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 magnet ordering uh, due to spin counting. The third uh, example I would like to show uh, it's a layered uh, uh, perovskite uh, format, the nickel format. A nickel and the format form a, a layer uh, like this. Uh, and the, between the layer, the ammonia ion and the chloride ion and the, uh, the, the neutral ammonia uh, molecules have uh, interaction between the layers. Um, it, interesting thing is uh, for uh, this compound, we observe the phase transition uh, in high temperature the, the structure so, 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 like this. The, the low temperature is changing. There is a, a phase transition. It's changing to another uh, structure. Uh, but still, it's a layered uh, compounds. But uh, uh, with different uh, uh, cell uh, parameters. And uh, uh, interesting thing is, uh, the both phases are all polar, and uh, we can uh, get some information uh, for the direction of polarization. Uh, actually, uh, for the high, phase, uh, high temperature phase, uh, the polarization, uh, electric polarization along a C uh, axis, along, uh, like this. Uh, when uh, for for the uh, low temperature uh, phase, uh, the electric polarization direction actually uh, turn uh, ninety uh, degree. Uh, now it's not 
particularly with uh, the layer. It actually is a, a parallel uh, with a uh, layer. It's a, this just to the phase transition uh, and also the magnetic uh, transition. Uh, this uh, uh, single crystal measurement also uh, give the information. Uh, the switch of the magnetization also from uh, uh, the easy axis from C axis to AB plan uh, around the uh, uh, 30 Kelvin. Uh, in the world for the layer compounds, uh, when the phase transition from high phase, uh, high temperature phase to uh, low temperature phase, uh, uh, the properties of the, the compounds for, uh, from a ferro uh, electric phase to, to, to less, uh, I mean, the less polarized uh, uh, ferro electric phase. Uh, at the same time, uh, the, 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 the magnet properties also have uh, this, uh, uh, this, this uh, uh, transition uh, from the direction of perpendicularly to the layers to, to, the, uh, to the direction of uh, uh, parallel to, to the layers, the magnetization uh, uh, directions. Uh, and both the magnetic uh, uh, magnetization uh, direction and the polarized uh, electric polarization directions all from this uh, red direction uh, turn to uh, uh, blue directions so, yeah uh, now I move to the second part uh, for isolated uh, systems uh, in this part I would like to uh, it gave uh, uh, three uh, uh, systems. Uh, the first one is uh, traditional connection compounds, beta daketon uh, of dispersing compounds. Uh, the second part, I merely focus on second part, uh, second uh, series, uh, uh, organometallic lanthanide compounds. Uh, finally, I will show a very uh, recent result on a li linear a cobalt compound, cobalt uh, uh, emidal uh, uh, compounds. Uh, actually, uh, from the beginning of, uh, uh, from 2000, uh, we, we tried to uh, investigate some isolated uh, uh, chain, isolated uh, 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 mononuclear uh, compounds to find some new uh, approach to get single molecule magnets. Um, for molecules, uh, normally, a, for almost molecules, are uh, uh, diamagnetic, uh, since uh, the, the spins normally in molecules are, 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 are paired, uh, so there's so no uh, uh, unpaired uh, electrons. If the molecules contain uh, unpaired electrons, uh, normally they show properties it's a paramagnetic properties. Uh, for example, for uh, oxygen and uh, nitrogen. For nitrogen, it's diamagnetic uh, uh, molecules. But for oxygen, due to uh, the area to uh, unpaired electrons, uh, oxygen is magnet. So the magnet can attract, uh, in principle, the, the oxygen. These uh, experiments show uh, we're using a, a magnet and put into the liquid uh, oxygen. You can see uh, the magnet can attract some uh, liquid uh, uh, oxygen. So oxygen is pyromagnetic. Uh, uh, at the same time, uh, for, for nitrogen, if we put the, the, the magnet into the uh, liquid uh, nitrogen uh, and put out, uh, nothing we can, can see. Um, so, diamagnetic, uh, paramagnetic. Uh, 
but uh, uh, almost 20 years ago, uh, some uh, groups uh, discover the magnet special magnet properties for manganese 12. Uh, what's special? Uh, it's a it's a cluster based uh, compound. It's a uh, uh, the separation between the cluster are quite long. Um, it's not a long range ordering system, but uh, it show a uh, hysterical loop. You can see here. But uh, the, for hysterical loop, you, it's also special, different uh, with a normal long range ordering system. You can see some uh, steps in the, this uh, uh, hysterical loop. Uh, so this uh, behavior we call the uh, single molecular magnetic behavior. Uh, this behavior is due to the slow, magnet uh, slow relaxation of the magnetization for the, for the molecules. Uh, here is a uh, AC sensibility measurement. You can see it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a the, the molecules show slow uh, magnetic uh, relaxation. Uh, what kind of molecules can show uh, the behavior like this? Um, it requires two conditions. Firstly, the molecules should have a big magnetic moment, should have a big uh, spin ground state. And secondly, the molecules should have a, a uni axi anastropy. Um, for magnesium 12, the, the ground state of spin is 10, is quite bigger uh, spin on its ground state. And also, uh, it, the molecules have uh, uni axi anastropy. So called uh, the uniaxi anastropy, it means uh, for the molecules, uh, the easy uh, axis along this direction, all these directions. So if the molecules uh, uh, have big spin on ground state and also have a uniaxi anastropy, uh, the molecules should be, could be a, a single molecule magnet. For single molecular magnets, uh, to, it has some uh, potential applications on memory storage and the quantum computing and the molecular uh, spintronics. Uh, from the discovery of Magnus 12 20 years ago, um, a lot of work uh, and many, many groups in the world uh, focus attention on class-based uh, molecules. Uh, um, the synthesis, a lot of thousands of uh, uh, clusters, especially the manganese-based uh, manganese uh, uh, clusters. Uh, you can see here a lot of beautiful structures. Um, in some of them, the, of them, they, they obtained uh, the quite bigger uh, ground state spin, such as uh, the spin is about uh, uh, it's over 40. But uh, unfortunately, for the, these uh, manganese-based uh, clusters, only uh, very few uh, clusters, they have uh, magnetic uh, performance, single molecular magnetic behavior. Uh, can, can be uh, better than the first one. It means the magnet 12 is almost uh, the, the best one in the class-based uh, uh, single molecule magnets. So it's a challenge for clusters, since you cannot easy to control the coupling with, within the clusters. And also, a small difficult thing is to difficult to, to control the overall uh, anastropy for the whole molecules. So 
uh, our uh, approach is to simplify the questions, try to control uh, uniaxy and astropy of a single uh, pyromagnetic ions. Uh, to, 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 to find what kind of uh, spin carriers and uh, put into what kind of in environment can we uh, get the uniaxy and astropy for the molecules and uh, to obtain single molecule magnets. Um, the idea is very simple. We, we try to using large magnetic moments uh, and put into some axis symmetry environment. Uh, why a lanthanide? Uh, since uh, actually in anastropy and really uh, come from the orbital contribution. For lanthanide, for F electrons, the orbital moment is largely unquenched. So the magnetic properties are therefore highly uh, anisotropic. Uh, we can see from here, uh, due to the strong spin coupling uh, between in, in, in lanthanide ions, uh, we, we can see uh, the, the spin orbital coupling constants uh, uh, this, this line, uh, for heavier uh, real earth ions, uh, they have a quite bigger uh, spin optical coupling constants. And uh, at the same time, for the heavier real earth ions, they have a ground state gear value also quite bigger. For lanthanide ions, the, the sp S uh, value is it's not so good to describe its properties since the strong spin optical coupling. So the J value, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a better uh, value. And uh, so since this, we, we choose merely uh, heavy real ions uh, as a spin carrier for our mononuclear compounds. Uh, it's well known for neodymium. Uh, it play a key role in uh, permanent uh, uh, magnets. Uh, it's so uh, for for lanthanide, uh, this figure show uh, the anisotropy of electron density distribution of lanthanide ions, uh, but in their Eastern limited uh, state. Uh, the, the, the third lines the, the actually show the electric density distribution for discipline ions actually changes from uh, typical uh, prelate to oplate. Uh, the op oplate ship uh, actually is only in its uh, eastern limit uh, state. Uh, for us to get a uh, uh, big G value uh, at ground state and also uh, uh, uniaxy and astropy. Uh, so we, we, opt, we wish to, uh, to, to get the Eastern limited uh, state. Uh, for discipline, in the Eastern limited state, uh, the uh, electron density is oblate. For urban, it's prelate. Um, for for oblate uh, electron density, uh, uh, axi sandwich type uh, ligand uh, uh, crystal field will uh, minimize the, the energy of uh, Mg, the highest moment of the state. So uh, it's, a, it's a better to, to get uniaxy and astropy. Uh, but for the urban 
for, for pre-lit uh, uh, electron density, uh, in this case, uh, uh, equatorial uh, electron configuration, uh, the coordination around the, the, the uh, equatorial uh, uh, direction will uh, pro uh, promote uh, better uh, uh, anastropy, unix anastropy. Okay, I, I will start some uh, our uh, results. Start to uh, in two thousand one. Actually, I, I just mentioned that at the beginning we merely focus on some uh, coordination polymers with long reach magnetic ordering, but uh, in that time we observe the special uh, uh, unusual uh, properties for a coordination polymer. It's a two dimension uh, coordination polymer. Uh, it's a neodymium uh, and uh, cobalt cyanide. But here, a cobalt is diamagnetic. It's a cobalt-3 uh, in strong ligand field, uh, so it's, uh, it's diamagnetic uh, uh, for, for cobalt. The, for this compound, only the neodymium ions have contribution to the magnetic behavior. Um, so, uh, what, what special uh, the magnetic properties we observed in that time? Uh, actually, uh, you just observe the, the slow relax, magnetic relaxation in magnesium 12. Uh, uh, in our compounds, we also observe the slow magnetic relaxation, uh, but uh, uh, only in a DC field we can observe the out of phase uh, uh, slow magnetic relaxation. Uh, just uh, uh, three years uh, later, uh, a Japanese group, they reported uh, 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 double-deck molecules, uh, uh, the turbine ions connected with uh, uh, two uh, PC rings. So for this compound, the f they observe the slow magnetic relaxation in zero DC field uh, first time they observed the, the in the zero DC field. Uh, based on this uh, research, actually we start our mononuclear uh, uh, investigation. Uh, first example, I will show the first uh, uh, system. It's a, a beta daketone compound. Uh, also have the similar uh, local symmetry is D4D, like uh, uh, turbine uh, double-deck compounds. For these compounds, we observe uh, the hysteric loop at uh, 0.5 Kelvin. Um, for it's a, it's a typical behavior for single molecule magnets. It's the first time for a discipline mononuclear compounds is show single molecule magnetic behavior. Uh, the AC susceptibility also show the slow magnetic relaxation. And how about the easy axis for the molecules? Uh, luckily, we got a, a quite bigger single crystal for the compounds uh, three uh, beta daketone ligands connected to disprin and uh, uh, the two water molecules was replaced uh, by 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 uh, uh, by pyridine. So uh, we got uh, quite big single crystals. Uh, the crystals crystallized in. Uh, in, 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 in check clinic uh, uh, space groups. So in this case, we have opportunity to using single uh, uh, angular uh, dependent uh, single crystal uh, measurement to determine uh, the easy axis for the compounds. Uh, the red one is uh, uh, we, we, we measured using single crystal magnetometer uh, to determine the, obtain the easy axis along these directions. 
as a perpendicular with uh, the uh, dipyridine uh, discipline uh, and two nitrogen, uh, almost uh, a perpendicular with this plan. And uh, uh, based on the ligand field calculation and also the initial uh, calculation, the uh, green and the blue one also have the similar uh, result with our experiment uh, results. And uh, recently, uh, a similar compounds. So also we uh, cooperated with uh, uh, colleagues in LRB and uh, using uh, polarized neutron diffractions, we have uh, similar uh, structures. The easy axis uh, is similar. Uh, quite recently, we, we have a question. Can we, uh, can we see the, the electron density, the, the shape of the uh, F electrons? Uh, and uh, the question is, can, can we see the, the easy axis uh, the, uh, directly uh, based on high resolution uh, electri electron density measurement? Um, recently, uh, one of my uh, former PhD students is now uh, the postdoc with uh, uh, Overgaard, and uh, uh, they measure the single crystals, uh, get some uh, high resolution uh, uh, electron density uh, uh, results. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, uh, Overgaard will give a talk uh, in this session, uh, MS-108. You, you will get uh, some details from him. Uh, in, uh, briefly, uh, actually, uh, the, from this um, result, we, we can see the, the connection atoms and the uh, uh, discipline ions. The, the, the bond between them are uh, ionic uh, uh, bond. There is no uh, uh, overlap between the uh, uh, electron density. Um, and also, uh, based on this measurement, uh, it can be seen as the uh, electron density of the discipline uh, ions is uh, it looks like an uh, oplate uh, with some distortion, but uh, uh, it uh, seems uh, not so uh, axy uh, for the, the shape, maybe due to the low uh, coordination uh, symmetry for the compound. Actually, if you wish to know uh, more details, please go to the uh, Dr. Overgaard's uh, lecture. OK, uh, now I would like to show some uh, uh, organometallic uh, lanthanide uh, single ion magnets. Uh, in 2011, we published a, a paper on these uh, beautiful molecules. It's uh, simple, but quite beautiful. It's uh, the, the lanthanide ions, urban, and also discipline ions, uh, connected with uh, a CP star and the COT. Uh, it's a neutral molecules. The charge balance is neutral. Um, for this compound, uh, it's quite beautiful. Uh, we got quite bigger single crystals. And at room temperature, we can use the magnet and track to the quite bigger crystals. It's not see uh, the molecules 
is uh, single molecular magnets at room temperature. It's due to the quite a bigger magnet moment. Uh, magnet density is quite bigger enough, and uh, it's uh, it's a paramagnetic at uh, even paramagnet uh, uh, at uh, room temperature. It's quite strong paramagnetic behavior, so the magnet can attract. Uh, for the molecules, uh, we investigate uh, the magnetic relaxation. Uh, the energy barrier for the molecules uh, is uh, around uh, 300 Kelvin. And we can observe the heat stress loop. Um, what's the easy exit for the molecules? Uh, we cooperated with uh, Sosley and uh, group in uh, uh, Levis group, and uh, we, we, we using angular resolved magnetometer uh, combined with uh, some initial uh, calculation, we can uh, determine the easy axis uh, along this direction, so perpendicular with uh, the, the ligand plane. Also using uh, torque magnetometer, we can get the same uh, conclusion, the easy axis around the, 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 this direction. And we just uh, use a COT and CP star. The CP star can be replaced by other uh, ligands ionic pi uh, bond ligands. For example, here we we using uh, uh, borate benzene. Uh, the borate benzene we using different R. Uh, we get uh, serious compounds, uh, urban. But for them, we keep the COT and change it and uh, replace CP star with uh, borate benzene uh, with different uh, substitutions and uh, uh, it's well known for, for the, we, we introduce uh, uh, borant atoms in axi uh, directions. We can see uh, the all single molecule magnets for the second one, it shows even better uh, the energy barrier compared with uh, CP star and COT. Uh, for CP star, COT is the uh, energy barrier 300 Kelvin. Now it's uh, over 400 Kelvin. We can also observe the hysteric loop up to eight and seven, uh, six Kelvin. Uh, why? First one and second one have quite bigger uh, energy barrier. Uh, the relaxation pathway we can uh, calculate it based on initial uh, calculation. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, through the, the high excited state. So the, the first two have higher uh, energy barrier. Uh, the key point for this series compounds is uh, we introduce uh, the boring atoms. It's an electron pro donor. So uh, in X directions, uh, as I mentioned before, for urban, the easy limit of urban uh, electron density for is a, a parallel. Uh, so uh, if the axis direction spin density are reduced, it will will, will better for uh, for this kind of uh, molecules. So here we reduce the electron density in the AC, uh, axis directions, so we get a better uh, uh, pro performance compared with uh, CP star and COT urban compounds. Uh, it's possible to replace the CP star with other ligands. Uh, here we get a series uh, half sandwich compounds. Uh, for example, uh, CP star replaced by C TP star. And uh, 
for the, these compounds, fortunately, we also get a single crystal with a P, uh, with this uh, uh, space group. So uh, we can measure using uh, angular resolved magnetometer to, to determine the easy axis for the molecules. The, uh, the, the, the green one is based on calcula calculation, and the red one is determined by this uh, single uh, crystal uh, measurement. Um, for the serious compounds, for the COT, TP compounds, not only the urban compounds can show single molecular magnetic behavior, but also the turbine, it's, a, it's not a, a chromous ice. It's the first time to, to observe the uh, single mo molecular magnetic behavior in, uh, in, in turbine uh, compounds. They have a similar structure and the easy axis along the, uh, the similar directions. Uh, perpendicular with uh, COT uh, plans. I just mentioned that the first system is traditional condition compound, uh, it's a beta daketum. Beta daketum, uh, it's a single molecule magnet, single ion magnet. And uh, we also obtain the organic met metallic compounds, COT, CP star. Can we combine them uh, using CP, different uh, CP rings, and also uh, beta daketone as a ligand? We hybrid these uh, two uh, systems. Together, we got this serious spring compounds, uh, half sandwich compounds, different CP rings. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the same uh, beta ketone ligands. Uh, they all show single molecular magnetic behavior. And uh, for these molecules, uh, the easy axis it's not perpendicular with the CP rings. Uh, actually, for these series compounds, the, uh, the easy axis is uh, dominated, determined by, by the, the oxygen from beta daketone. Since the charge density in Oxygen of beta ketone is uh, uh, is bigger than the uh, charge in CP rings. Um, so, uh, in, in summary, for this part, for for this uh, organometallic uh, single ion magnets, uh, we developed. Uh, a series sandwich compounds and uh, replace uh, uh, re the CP star can be replaced by TP star and the other ligands and uh, borate benzene and uh, we also can combine the traditional beta ketone ligand uh, compounds with uh, organometallic ligands and get uh, the sandwich uh, half sandwich uh, discipline a single molecular magnet. Uh, as I mentioned before, for, for a discipline, the easy, easy limit of electron density is uh, prolate. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, but the, the, for discipline compounds, uh, the ligand field from the axis directions is better. So 
uh, here, actually, the, the oxygen from beta the ketone a strong uh, compared with uh, uh, bipyridine and uh, 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 compared with uh, the CP ligands, uh, it's strong uh, charge density. So it determines the easy axis uh, direction. Um, for the spring compounds, um, if we wish to get uh, the, the more uh, the get better uh, uniaxis along the axis uh, directions. Uh, the axis and x1 and, and x2, the equatorial ligands, it's, uh, have some uh, effect. And uh, actually, I just mentioned the, uh, the, the charge density from X direction is uh, it's much better. If the uh, equatorial ligands, there is no equatorial ligands, it's uh, so, so the most, uh, uh, we, 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 we should get the, the, the best uh, uh, performance. Uh, here, we investigate a serious uh, Compounds like this to, to see what's the effect of equatorial ligands. Uh, I just show, uh, you, you, you can just see chloride, bromide, uh, iodide, uh, uh, these three compounds. Uh, actually, the, the three compounds, uh, for the three compounds, uh, it's only the uh, 3D, uh, the, the uh, iodine, iodine uh, compounds, iodide coordinated in, in uh, equatorial uh, directions. Uh, we can see his test loop. It means uh, uh, the energy barrier for uh, uh, iodine is much higher than uh, bromide and uh, higher than chloride compounds. Uh, I, I didn't see more details, but uh, the result is uh, if the uh, the more uh, weak uh, ligand uh, in the equatory uh, directions, such as chloride, uh, bromide, and iodide, iodide is uh, best for the uh, the the, the uh, uniaxis and astropy. It means uh, uh, the, the strong ligand field uh, ligands uh, will bring small uh, transversal uh, components and reduce the uniaxis of magnetic uh, anastropy uh, lead to poor uh, performance. Uh, on the other hand, the weaker, the better of the atratory ligands. The, the most uh, uh, mm, the, the limited, uh, it's a no uh, editorial uh, ligand. It's the it's it's best. I just show you uh, a result recently obtained by two groups in, uh, from Manchester. The same department, two different groups. They obtained the same molecules. This brain coordinated with two CP. It's quite a bigger CP, the CPTTT. <clears throat> uh, the same compounds also reported uh, uh, by Layfield uh, in Anguish Me. And the day before yesterday, uh, a Mears group also published the, the same compounds in Nature. Uh, for these compounds, uh, there is no equatorial ligands coordinated. So it show very higher energy barrier, over 1,700 Kelvin. And also, uh, the blocking temperature is around uh, 60 Kelvin. The, 
the last example I will show you is uh, the third uh, system we, we explored for transition metal. The cobalt two uh, synthesis this uh, the, uh, Professor Deng Liang uh, this group his group uh, synthesis uh, this serious uh, compounds. Uh, the cobalt uh, connected with uh, so on one side there's a carb carbine. Uh, ligand, another sign is uh, imido. Uh, so, the most uh, significant thing is, uh, is a key point is uh, the cobalt nitrogen bond is very short um, compared with a normal cobalt nitrogen uh, single bond. So it seems a, a double bond. It's a linear uh, compound, connected two connected. As you know, for uh, for transition metal, the orbital contribution normally uh, con in, uh, was quenched in uh, octahedral uh, symmetry. But for low connected linear compounds, the orbital contribution still remain. So it shows a strong uh, Uniaxial and isotropy. Uh, you can see the energy barrier for the compounds is over uh, 400 uh, wave numbers. Uh, and we can also observe the hysteric loop uh, at near 10 Kelvin. Uh, it's, uh, it's maybe the best uh, uh, single ion magnet for transition metal. We can use a single ion model to, to, to make some calculation, and uh, it shows the procedural linear ligand field uh, uh, helps to preserve the first order orbital moment. So it has a strong uh, uniaxial anisotropy. But uh, for the, the, the third compound, uh, the energy barrier based on this calculation has a slight bigger uh, difference. Another model we use uh, is uh, using the uh, cobalt nitrogen coupling model. In this model, uh, due to the strong ferroelectric uh, interaction between the between the uh, cobalt and nitrogen, uh, it's not uh, ferro; it should be antiferro. So, uh, anyway, due to the the very strong uh, double bond, uh, the strong coupling between cobalt and nitrogen, and makes the cobalt nitrogen ion free, uh, fragment uh, as, a, as a whole, as a uh, procedural single uh, paramagnetic ions as a whole. Uh, based on this, we can uh, make some calculation and uh, you can see the energy barrier for the third compounds is comparable with our experimental results. So anyway, the energy, uh, the, the, the uh, any, uh, for, for these compounds, the, the most important thing is uh, the easy axis uh, is along the cobalt nitrogen bond. It means the, the strong cobalt nitrogen bond uh, direct, it's a direct uh, the easy axis uh, directions. In summary, for single ion magnets, I just mentioned uh, the three systems uh, uh, for urban and for discipline and transition metal. Uh, first thing, we, choose, we should choose spin carriers, the magnetic center. And here we choose lanthanide and some transition metals, and uh, the orbital contribution is most important uh, for for the easy axis for the n isotropy of the molecules. Uh, second, the, the connection bond, for example, uh, uh, disprene and the ligand. 
this brain is uh, a, a cobalt with nitrogen. Uh, some short, uh, strong, magnetic ligand bond. Uh, in some cases, actually, it's directing the easy axis. And finally, uh, I just uh, mentioned in the beginning for this part, I, we wish to get uh, 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 environmental axis, environmental for spin carriers. Uh, actually, it's not only the geometry uh, environmental. The, the, uh, the key point is uh, the spin density, uh, the charge density around the, the, uh, the metal centers are a key point. If the distribution of the charge density of the ligand is uh, axis uh, is a permanent, uh, promote uh, the better, uh, easy uh, axis. So uh, finally, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the uh, authors, the reviewers, uh, for contribution to our uh, new uh, journals. Thanks for your attention. Maybe a lot. Okay. Thank you for your presentation. It's very interesting. Uh, have you tried any multinuclear dysprosium compound? Nuclear. Multinuclear. There's a I'm cluster yeah. of, of dysprosium because dysprosium has yeah, yeah. A, a very large spin. So if you yeah. succeed on having. Uh, large anisotropy with a cluster of dysprosium, so it will be a very, very yeah, interesting uh, case. For our target, first step is to understand uh, what kind of uh, spin carriers in what kind of environmental can, can get uh, better performance, can get uh, uh, uniaxial and anisotropy molecules. Uh, actually, the second step is maybe we can uh, organize them in a plan or uh, a line. It's a, it's a it's a next step of our research. Uh, for uh, I, I just also mentioned uh, for cluster-based uh, molecules, uh, um, it's not easy to control. So if we can control a connector in in a uh, in, in one direction or two direction, it maybe it's better. It's our next step. Uh, thank you for the presentation. Recently, uh, uh, Harald Brune at EPFL in Switzerland reported that for holmium absorbed on, uh, on surfaces, they, they have a persistence of magnetization at room temperatures, blocking temperatures above room temperature. So I had two questions. One is, uh, in your presentation, you did not mention holmium-based uh, molecules, uh, so why? And the second question is, do you think that in, in these, in these uh, molecules, it will be possible to also reach room temperature blocking temperatures as they, re as they did it on surfaces? Uh, yeah, recently, uh, yeah. Uh, so the Hurbin atoms, uh, so I, I think many groups try to research the isolated uh, atoms or isolated uh, single molecules on surface. Uh, so it's difficult to, to detect uh, the F electrons uh, using STM and uh, recently they developed, uh, Andrew, they, they developed a, a method using uh, uh, I, the neighbor, I uh, atoms and uh, as a sensor to, to measure the magnetization of the, its, its neighbor, the weak uh, magnetic field. Yeah, they observe the, 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 the Herbin uh, single atom uh, uh, magnet properties. It's quite interesting. I, uh, since uh, it's more physics, I, I, I knew little about that, but uh, I think uh, for uh, our molecules, for, for, for uh, the next step, 
uh, to if we wish to use as a device and something like we, we also should uh, get uh, uh, them to service and uh, to assembly and uh, uh, yeah another uh, serious compound is very interesting I, I didn't mention today as uh, uh, the metal uh, fluorines yeah the, the we, 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 we also did some uh, new investigation using EPR and uh, discover some some new properties uh, th uh, thanks for the nice talk. I have a question. The, the interaction between the magnetic uh, uh, ion should be quite a weak because the distance is long. And uh, I, I wonder whether if anybody has used a pressure to change the ordering parameter from ferro to anti ferro or in this yeah, system. Yeah, uh, I think for condition polymers, for ordering systems, uh, there are some for molecular based uh, uh, long reach ordering materials there are some uh, investigations using uh, uh, pressure to tuning the ordering temperature yeah. yeah okay thanks okay we should have uh, coffee time now please join me to give our thanks to professor Sung Gao thank you very much thanks On behalf of LOC, it is my great honor to present a small token of appreciation. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.